moving's done with, uh, at least, well, let's just say the leaving is done with. Um, I'm not quite sure why I thought living in apartments would be a good idea or why I wasted my time doing that for the last couple of years. <laughs> um, but I'm really tired. That was a lot of work. Uh, I will just say this. I'm a long ways away from everything right now, and I'm not going to be having issues with neighbors. <laughs> I'm going to wait till the housing market dies down a little bit, and then I want to take my time and find the right place, make sure I have enough space, and I think what I'm going to do is just stay various places in the meanwhile, wait a few months, maybe more towards winter, see what the housing market look like, looks like, and continue from there. I, uh, I'm just so tired right now. <laughs> I came to get some food. I was like, oh, I'll go to the grocery store. I got in the van and immediately realized that I'm really tired and I don't think I'm going to be able to get in and out of the van several times. So I went to the grocery store, sat there for a few minutes, and I was like, I don't think I'm going to do that. I looked over, I like, oh, there's a subway. Maybe I'll go there. No. Decided getting out of the van, even to go into Subway quickly, wasn't what I wanted. So I ended up with uh, generic burgers. I'm going to be focusing on resting for a while because that move was intense. I'm so glad I'm out of there, though. Um, and once again, I feel sorry for the poor suckers that remain. I don't know why or what or how, any number of things. But I'm going to continue with my life and do something um, much better than planting myself in an apartment for the rest of my life. Ah, it's so nice and clean in here now. Uh oh. I forget how heavy this chair is. I have to help the lift. Oh boy, he's not liking this today. I have to grab the top of this door and help it. All right, there we go. Pretty sure I have another battery in here. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's a knockoff one, but it's better than this one that's dead. Well, unfortunately, I have to head back into the belly of the beast for a little while. Um, we'll get some things taken care of. I also got to grab the other van. Uh, I just made it back into town here and figured I'd turn on the radio. Now, it's interesting with this setup Ford has here. When you shift into gear, this shifter blocks the screen. Now, when you're sitting here driving, how are you supposed to see what's going on? Uh, so yeah, good design there. There's a couple other issues as well. Um, one, the volume button doesn't work. So there's a couple different ways you can fix this stereo. Sometimes the speakers quit working if you turn it up too loud. And to fix it for that, you just have to like bang on the top of the dashboard. To fix this, you have to basically just punch the front of the stereo, like, like that. And now our volume control works like it should. <laughs> um, I should probably replace this. I mean, I don't drive this van that often, but I don't know, just kind of funny. I think what I'm gonna do though is I just found this Bluetooth speaker in the back seat. So I'm gonna pair this up to my phone and uh, listen to some podcasts uh, instead of the radio, because radio is pretty bad. All right, there we go. iHome Bluetooth and we're connected. Let's see, what shall we listen to today? Uh, how about some Handle on the Law? Marginal Legal Replay, that'll do. All right, the real question now is what condition is the battery in? I still need to put a cutoff switch on for that voltage gauge I have in here. Ironically, it signals you how low the voltage is, but it also uses 
<laughs> a lot of power, so. A little bit ironic that a device that's supposed to help keep you from getting a dead battery can also cause a dead battery. Right, let's see here. Oh yeah. Now for the most exciting part. Going to get some drugs from the pharmacy. It's always an enjoyable experience. Just uh, stopped by storage real quick, had to grab a few things and drop some things off. Uh, this other van had some extra things in it that I didn't need to be carrying around. So, found an iPhone charging cable. It's always a bonus. So, yeah. Anyways, to the pharmacy. Well, that only took 45 minutes. Um, hopefully my salad isn't warm. I got a salad from the grocery store. It's back there. All right, let's find a parking lot, post up for a bit, eat some food. Oh yeah, I think we're still good. It's cool to the touch. Well, I... Still no camera mounts in this van. There we go, sort of. All right, um, I finally got one of those cameras back. Uh, the ones that kept melting down that I was using as dash cams in the other van. Well, I sent one of them off to the manufacturer and it just came back in this weird little box. Apparently, they just sent me a camera. No packaging. No cords. There better be a battery in here, that's all I have to say. Oh yeah, so we have a camera and a battery. Doesn't smell like it's exploded yet, so that's a bonus. Wonder if this is the same camera. I don't know how you would tell. Eh, let's put the battery in and see what happens. Well, it's definitely a new battery. The old one was swelled up so much that it wouldn't even come out of the camera. Eh, fits in there. So this one has completely different firmware on it. Uh, how do you stop it from recording? Stop. Okay, I'm gonna plug this thing in and charge it up. Then uh, I'm gonna download the app on my phone and see if there's a firmware update for this because it's it looks completely different than the old one did. I'm gonna be meeting a friend out here for dinner, so I think I'm gonna go to this Goodwill over here, try to find some clothing. I've never shopped for clothes at Goodwill before. Or at least it's been a really long time. I want some new shirts. Okay. We, uh, let's see here. All right. We've acquiesced some things from Goodwill. Um, I just decided I want to move the van a little bit. Hang on. Oh wait, no, this won't work either. back here. Let it break the screen again. Oh. All right. Now we're good. Um, I pulled up here and I realized when I put my ramp down, the people that go into this equipment yard can see right into the van. So I was going to turn it around. Then I realized as soon as I did that, I needed to open the hood and double check to make sure this thing still has coolant in it. And then as I was backing up, there was some guy standing there smoking that walked around the corner of the building. And I startled him and he startled me. And then my camera leaped off the dash. So anyways, we got this here dresser thing. It's actually not a dresser, it's a shelf with some doors. I don't know if you can see. Uh, there you go. See the old cubby hole? Got some doors. There's more shelves in there. Uh, it was $9. It'll be good uh, for where I'm staying currently to put assorted things on top of. And main, let's see. I think it'll hold the, uh, yeah, holds the camera too. Hang on, gotta fix the exposure. There we go. And the main thing is I got some shirts at Goodwill. Uh, just sort of some generic things here. You may or may not get the reference to this. It's a face block, the uh, anti social social network. Uh, and then we've got 
This one from Canon. I love EOS. Pretty um, uh, applicable. And this one, kind of a joke. Your my foot speed will make your head spin. It's uh, oh dang it! It's Nike. I didn't realize it was a Nike product. Well, I guess someone else bought it, so I'm not giving them money directly. That's a story for another time. I've had past experiences with Nike. Nothing against any of the employees that I happen to know, but the culture of that company is very strange. And here, this is the best thing ever. Hang on, let me get the exposure. All right, nice and bright so you can see this. This is a meme. I'm gonna put this thing on right now. It says, Beyonce is my spirit animal. And it has a weird picture of her. It's a little bit big. Okay, a lot big. Um, <laughs> is that not the best thing ever? And it was half price. So it was uh, $2.50. <laughs> uh, and also because the stereo in the other van is not working properly. Uh, okay, all right, we're good. Although I'm not driving that other van at the moment. I got this little, you know, got some snot rockets on it. This little creative Bluetooth speaker that, um, oh, wait for it, wait for it. It's brand new. And by brand new, I mean it's not brand new at all. It's just whoever owned it didn't peel it off, but it'll run on AA batteries or power supply. And it has one of my favorite features, an actual freaking switch to turn it on and off. I'm tired of things that you put batteries into that have software buttons. Sorry, loud plastic bag. That have software buttons and you can't actually turn them off. Especially when you're putting batteries in it. It just like ruins the batteries. It's like they came up with some sort of conspiracy with big battery. And they're like, hey, how can we make people buy more batteries? But I got them. I went and bought rechargeables. These were cheaper than four, actually they're the same price, as four regular double A's. Now the only problem here is I don't know if these are charged. And this is a wall charger. Oh, I do have a power inverter in here. I was gonna say I don't know if I have a power inverter, but I totally do. So we're gonna take these out of here and see if they have any charge whatsoever and see if we can power this thing up. By the way, I'm just killing time here because I'm gonna meet up with a friend in a little bit. We're gonna go watch the Seahawks game at a bar or something. I figure while I'm back in town, um, might as well go hang out or something to that effect. By the way, I'm sure you've seen this before, but Gerber makes this knife as a finger hole. Very easy to grip. These are in the charger. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. I'm hoping this has reverse voltage protection because if these are in here, they will be beyond dead if this thing does not have that. So, oh, ha, there's little plastic pieces on the top keeping them from connecting to the charger. Let's cram them in here and see what happens. With a very faint light. Wait, is that a light? Yeah, there's my phone. Pushed and held the button, now it's flashing blue. Ah, there it is, Creative D100. Guess I can put the battery door back on now. It says we are connected. Play some music. Play. Is it broken? Pushing volume up. I don't know how this thing's supposed to work. I think the Bluetooth functionality of this thing may not be um, working. I'm pushing all the buttons. It says it's playing. I'm not hearing anything. It has an auxiliary input. Let me see if I have a uh, uh, an aux cord in here. Okay, I just I just tried it with the Android phone and it's also not working. So. Yeah, we're gonna need an aux cord. Don't know if I have one. So I used to carry around a portable USB DAC or headphone amplifier, but that's not in here anymore. Um, did find the satellite radio, but it does not have an aux cord either. Also found a nozzle for a garden hose. Not sure why that's in here. So you gotta be prepared, right? I did find another power inverter I didn't know I had in here, so that's a bonus. Well, hmm. 
We're gonna have to wait, I guess. I don't think the Bluetooth functionality on this thing's working. It, um, it turns on, it connects, but we don't get any sound out of it. Oh well, that's playing through the phone. I know there's at least two people that are very familiar with this playlist. Eh, oh well. Um, we'll put these batteries on the charger and uh, set this aside for later. Uh, there we go, how's that for a stack of adapters? Got the cigarette lighter, power inverter, battery charger. <laughs> for now though, on to more pressing matters. Like this shirt. <laughs> this is great. Okay. <laughs> Beyonce is my spirit animal. That's the best meme ever. I, I'm gonna be rocking this thing till it is worn out. <laughs> yes. It's getting a little bit crowded in this van. Got the manual chair, stuff I bought at Goodwill, battery charger, cone, paper towels, some more boxes in the back of kitchen stuff. Um, yeah, once I get back tonight, I'm gonna clean this thing out, and uh, we'll go. We'll go back to the. Uh, well, I guess I'll clean the carpet too, and then I don't have to worry about that. I mean, it'll still be ugly, but at least it won't be so full of stuff. Just check the coolant on this thing. We're all good to go. I think what happened last time was I had tried to check the coolant level when it was hot, and I flipped a little lever, the one that says don't flip when hot, don't open when hot. Everywhere under the hood it says don't touch the radiator when it's hot. Well, I did that. And it emptied itself into the uh, overflow reservoir and then onto the ground. And then the next day is when I randomly checked it, or a couple days later, and that's when I discovered it was pretty much empty. So, I think that was my fault. We're actually okay, I think. These elevators always smell so amazing. Ugh. We may have ordered some food. We had to pull up a chair to hold it all. <laughs> <laughs> and the game is on. <laughs> yeah, let me see that this. So cute. <laughs> we had to expand to another table now. <laughs> so much food. <laughs> Came down to hang out with some friends. Uh, time to head back from whence we came. Back to my own little tropical island. Yeah, it's probably gonna take me a week or two to rest and get over all this moving and stuff, but uh, we will still have more content. So I'm gonna be sticking to the same schedule. So anyways, see you soon.